Hey, what's up guys? Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm going to show you how to remove the background from any image. That's right guys, if you're a gamer especially and you're making thumbnails and you've got a logo but you got all that white in the background and you don't want it, for example, and there's a million other reasons why you could do this, how do you get rid of the background and keep the logo or keep the image? Well, very simple to do. Here we go. I've dragged and dropped in a Steam logo as you can see here. The next step is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to convert it into a smart object. So now it's a smart object. Now I'm going to right click again and I'm going to rasterize the layer. Now we can get in and do the business. The next step is I'm going to go over here to the left side and you're going to see this little magic wand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that wand and with the wand selected, I'll zoom in a little more, I'm just going to click on this white area. And when I do that, it's hard to see because Photopea isn't quite as good as uh, some other software. Uh, rhymes with Brotoshop. <laughs> but Photopea is free, so there's that going for it. Okay, good. So I've gone ahead and done that, and you'll see the marching ants or the lines here. The next step is actually just to hit delete. And when you do that, if you zoom in, you're going to see here that now you see these gray and white little pixels and boxes. What that basically means is this is now a transparent background. So it's now gone from, um, you know, white to nothing. Now, it's not perfect, but hey, you know what? It's free software and it's a free tool. So you kind of get what you get. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to select, deselect. So there's no marching ants going around it. So you can see exactly what we got and what we didn't get. Um, the next step here, if you want to save this and use this, which I'm pretty sure you do, what you want to do is you want to go to File, and then you're basically going to want to export this as a PNG right here. Export as a PNG. A PNG has an alpha channel or a transparent channel. And again, you can see the gray and the whitish boxes here. That means there's no background. It's transparent. Save it. It will download. And if you open it, like I'm going to do here, it is presto. You do note that there's a little bit of white around the edges, but hey, this is a free piece of software. What can you do? That's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.